Welcome to our series exploring the enigmatic realm of unexplained deaths and mysteries. Join us as we delve into perplexing cases that defy conventional understanding, where each clue raises more questions. In the bustling streets of Philadelphia, amidst the hum of traffic and the clatter of daily life, lies one of the city's strangest and most enduring mysteries. Small, cryptic messages embedded directly into the asphalt underfoot. They're so easy to miss. Walk by too quickly and you'll pass right over them. But for those who notice, the words they carry linger long after the tiles have been spotted. Words like Toynbee Idea in movie 2001, resurrect dead on planet Jupiter. What could that mean? Who put them there and why? I mean, think about it, you've got these weird little plaques stuck in the road, some of them half erased from years of wear. Toynbee Idea. Planet Jupiter. What is that even supposed to mean? It's like the ramblings of someone trying to tell us something big, but what? For decades now, the Toynbee tiles have appeared across cities in the United States, from New York to Chicago, and even in faraway cities like Buenos Aires and Santiago. These small, colorful plaques seem to defy logic. They've been pressed into streets where cars, pedestrians, and time itself work relentlessly to erase them, but somehow, many still endure. Their messages, strange, almost otherworldly, have become a subject of fascination for conspiracy theorists, artists, and urban explorers alike. Okay, but who's even doing this? It's not like you can just glue something into the pavement without anyone noticing, right? Are people sneaking around at night with a blowtorch or something? It feels like some kind of secret mission. Ah, the identity of the mysterious Tyler, the one or ones responsible for these cryptic messages. That's part of the allure, isn't it? No one knows for sure. Some say it's the work of a single eccentric man from Philadelphia named James Morasco. They say he had bizarre ideas about the historian Arnold Toynbee and Kubrick's 1968 masterpiece. Morasco, or whoever the Tyler might be, seems to believe in the possibility of resurrecting the dead on Jupiter of all places. Resurrect the dead on Jupiter? That's got to be a joke, right? I mean, Toynbee was a historian, not some sci-fi writer. And as far as I know, Jupiter isn't exactly a place you'd want to visit, let alone come back to life on. The theory behind the tiles is as confounding as the tiles themselves. The words Toynbee idea are believed to refer to the historian Arnold J. Toynbee. But even scholars can't quite agree on how his work connects to this strange message. Toynbee wrote about the cyclical nature of civilizations, how they rise and fall, how human societies can be renewed. But did he ever suggest resurrection on another planet? Not quite. Still, in some strange, inexplicable way, the Tyler seems to have combined Toynbee's ideas with the themes from where humans transcend their earthly limitations and reach a new stage of existence in the cosmos. So you think whoever's behind this believes we're going to transcend, like in the movie, some kind of evolution, or maybe even escape? Could that be why they picked Jupiter? It's so far away, almost unattainable. Exactly. Some believe the tiles are the work of an individual or group who envisioned humanity's potential beyond Earth in ways that might sound delusional to most of us. But the Tyler, whoever they are, seems to believe it. Resurrect dead on planet Jupiter. It's not just a wild idea, it's a call to action, or maybe a warning. Then again, maybe it's something only the Tyler truly understands. Okay, but why hide behind these tiles? If they believe in something so huge, why not just say it outright? What's with the secrecy? That's part of the mystery, isn't it? Some tiles include paranoid rants about media suppression, claiming that powerful forces are keeping this Toynbee idea from the public. Perhaps the Tyler believes they're being silenced and the tiles are their way of subverting the system. Tiny acts of rebellion hidden in plain sight. Hmm, that's actually kind of clever. But the tiles keep showing up in different cities, right? How are they still doing it? And what about all the new tiles? Are they still the same person's work or copycats? Another mystery. 
The first tiles were discovered back in the 1980s, primarily in Philadelphia. But as time passed, they began to appear in major cities across the US and even internationally. Are they all the work of one individual, or has the idea spread, carried on by followers? Some of the newer tiles mimic the originals, but no one knows for certain if the tiler is still active or if their legacy is being carried on by others. Man, it's wild that something so simple, so small can spark this much curiosity. It's like a riddle nobody's solved yet, or maybe we're not supposed to. Exactly. The Toynbee tiles have become more than just plaques embedded in the street. They've become an enigma, a puzzle that stirs the imagination. Part urban legend, part philosophical statement and part work of art, these tiles have left their mark, not just in the asphalt, but in the minds of those who stop to wonder at their meaning. In the end, the Toynbee tiles may be less about solving a mystery and more about embracing it. They remind us that not all questions have answers, and sometimes the mystery itself is what keeps the story alive. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the unexplained. We hope these mysteries have sparked your curiosity and encouraged you to delve deeper into the unknown. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and never stop seeking the truth.